Hello YouTube, Dr. Solar coming to you from Ashisha in Ogo State. So as you can see, the inverters are switched off. It's on purpose. What we're doing today is we're tidying up our cabling. So yesterday we ran it for what, three hours yesterday? Yes, sir. We ran for three hours yesterday. What was the maximum load you saw? 6.5. 6.5 times 5. 5 times 5, 25. 5 times 6, 30. So 32 and a half kilowatts. And on the other one, we're seeing 20, right? Yes, sir. So combined 55. Um, we currently have uh, 60 kilowatts on each side. So we have a total of 120. And we're shy quite a few batteries. We're shy how many batteries? Yes. You need 12? Yes, sir. One of the 12. One and 12. Yes, plus 8. Plus 8. Yes, so we're shy 20 batteries. So multiply by 5.8 kilowatts. That's a lot. So I've spoken to the manufacturer. We're going to purchase the cables to be able to add um, 12 to our existing system. And then hopefully I'm expecting an inverter within a week or two. That allows us to add an additional four batteries. So all we have left is four that we need to get a resolution to. So what I did is we're putting the covers on. Remember the covers were off. We're putting the covers on. We're putting the as you see, we're putting the shields, the covers back on it, on it to make it look neat and also to minimize insect and dust egress. Um, we'll start the idea on the wire. So this has to come off so you can screw this back underneath. And then we'll start tidying the wires. We have trunking. Let me see if I can show you trunking. Victor, could you move for a second? So we'll do the same thing we did with trunking on this side, as you can see. Here. And then there's trunking behind here. Let me see if I can see. Oh, can I see it? There's trunking. At, well, actually, let me, let me see if I can show it to you. This is as good as it gets. There's trunking. Right there, you can see it. So there's trunking behind. All these wires you're seeing are going to go behind the trunking. There are all these wires, except the battery cables. We're still trying to figure out the best way to do the battery cables. I'm thinking that we'll run the battery cables down here and then up here, then uh, up here, then run them, you know, tag them to this and then bring them in from the top, I think they're, oh, they're going in from the bottom. Maybe we should bring them in from the top. I'm not really, I'm still debating that. We'll see how that plays out. This cable doesn't really belong here. It's just temporary test. It's going to be, we'll cut it to size and put it away. Um, pretty excited. That EPS spiral box is a beast. What does it do? Um, the, master, the master is what switches it on and master switches it off. So once I switched off the master, it clicked and then it stopped sending power. I did not realize that we had uh, that this panel was energized. These panels actually were energized until I switched the power off. So it's something we need to be very conscious of. He's put the plastic panel on to prevent someone from going there and killing themselves. So that's good. The physical cover this is what the actual cover looks like. You see line on the ground, that's what the cover looks like. That will go on once we've replaced the other inverters we need to replace. Um, it's looking good. We are tidying up Monday. We want to run a minimum of five to six hours. We want to simulate what it will be like when there is no sun and with sun. So we'll do five, five hours. Then we want to run from nine to three. If we could do nine to five, that would be nice. And it will allow us to do tests and show connections. We saw some connections that didn't belong on, on the, We saw some connect, connections that were not supposed to be on the system. So we had all the breakers inside the hotel off and we saw about 10 kilowatts being sucked out of our system. So we've spoken to people and they are removing um, illegal, conne Ill well, illegal connections into the building. So that will, that will resolve part of that issue. Uh, the water pump also is ahead of the hotel. So that would, that would, that's always connected to our system once our system is on. I'm excited. This place is hot. So what have I done? I've opened the roof up a little bit, as you can see. And what has allowed it to do is it's sucking the hot air up and then bringing cool air from here in. So before, when you stood here, it wasn't as cool. Now it feels cool. So you have the convection, convection effect where it's pulling the cool air from here and then sucking it into the roof. 
and then you know wherever it is it needs to go let it go as long as it doesn't remain in this room so that's it hopefully by monday the ac will be in monday we want to run about six seven maybe eight hours on the system and i'll post a video showing you it running some of the loads are not quite there but from what i was told the wing of the hotel that houses you know you know the, the expensive part you know the one that has the suites was the ACs were on yesterday so that was a good thing for us so we, we powered that without much of an issue we weren't able to get our VFDs connected so we're powering the ACs without a VFD is that correct yes sir okay so we still need to figure out how to get the VFDs to work and if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Asheshe, you know, we stayed that Muhammad is going to run away because he doesn't want to be in the video. But that's his back. He just put his shirt on. If you see him, he's chronic but much thinner. 